I remember Hazel Phipps. Hazel Phipps was an English teacher in the Carthage R9 district for 23 years. Not many 8th graders had Mrs. Phipps as she was primarily reserved for the freshmen, but I was one of the lucky ones. As an 8th grader, I remember having a stomach ache for most of the year, every day before going to her class. Mrs. Phipps scared me. She was a snappy dresser, a snappy disciplinarian, literally, and every once in a while she had a snappy sense of humor. I vivid, vividly remember her large rimmed glasses and her succinct speech pattern. She would use both to her advantage when it came to disciplining students who weren't paying attention. Let's say you didn't want to be at the receiving end of a glaring look or a corrective comment. I can also still see her circulating around the classroom with our homework folded up in her hand. And every now and then, that roll of papers was used to pop a student on the side of the head, again, for not paying attention. Yes, Mrs. Phipps demanded our attention. And for the most part, she had it for the entire period. But wow, could she teach. I remember diagramming sentences a lot. Long, descriptive sentences that would take an entire sheet of paper to diagram. She almost made diagramming fun. And then there was literature. Mrs. Phipps loved literature, and she had a way of making us love it too. The Odyssey, Great Expectations, they came alive in her classroom as she modeled great oral reading and the art of interpretation. By the eighth, end of eighth grade English, my stomach aches pretty much had subsided, and I had to admit, I had grown to admire and respect Mrs. Phipps, and it was a good thing. Because when I got my freshman schedule and glanced down through the black print, I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there next to my English class, the teacher's name just happened to be Mrs. Phipps. <laughs>